Cannonball! Stop that. Why should he? He let Brain out in the first place. So what's down there? Killer Croc cell. Well, you've heard the stories. Might as well call it his feeding house. Same difference. No one goes in and comes out again whole. So why is Scarecrow going down there? Who cares? I locked the door behind him. He ain't coming out again. Hmm. Nothing in here. <laughs> Not really any point to that room. Let's see. What's in here, though? What is this? Tons of cobwebs. Who knows? Oh, and skulls. Wonderful. What the? This picture's of Batman. Some of them are the exact same pictures. Can't even read the text on the... On the papers, they're just there. Darth Doctrine plans on elving fear to new depths. Hmm. So is it saying that Crane was here? Planning this whole thing? So that's where Crane has been hanging out in that room there? Looks like he, no one's been there for years with all those cobwebs and everything. But then again, maybe he just hasn't taken the time to dusty up every you know, and tidy up. There's that elevator that's destroyed. Guess I gotta go in here and uh, deal with these gu these punks. Let's see, can I hit all three of them? Uh, looks like I can. Let's see. There we go. Didn't even see me. Take one, two, and three. Okay, then. Is there anything else in here? Anything at all? Nope. Just this thing. Here we go again. Got it. On my way down, Crane. Plus, it's on my way since I gotta go to Killer Croc's place anyway. Ugh. That guy freaks me out. Shit, me too. What's he doing down here anyway? How's the boss let him walk around this place? Just another distraction for the bat. Suits me fine. What do you mean? He means if the bat is looking for Scarecrow, he's not bothering us. Then we might just that? get out of here in one piece. Good plan. Surprise! Uh uh, you ain't getting no guns. this oh you know what these are remember what he said that they, they just drop uh slabs of meat down to his cell and just try to forget about him i guess there's like a system they have there where it just automatically just kind of drops one of those big giant things of meat for him to eat oh secrets map there we go there's his hand Got some pictures of Croc in here. Another another collar for him. Hmm. I have a feeling that if I have, if I I'm sure I'm gonna run into Croc and uh, he's gonna give me some trouble. That collar may be what I need. All right, here we go. Heading into his lair to stop Crane and get the cure from his lair. Control room access. Here's another tape. Oh, it's Croc's. Come on. Uh. 
Um. Here, here we go. That was weird. It was it was glitchy. It wouldn't work. Huh. Ah, it's amazing how that doctor just refuses to acknowledge those, you know, you know, those things. Just w doesn't want at all to believe it. Danger, keep out. No kidding. Oh my gosh, look at all the skulls. Are these people that Croc has eaten and he just put them on display? Oh man. Oh, the plant's made down here. Croc's lair. Oh boy. Here we go. I am not looking forward to this. One step closer, and this goes into the water. The cave will fill with your deepest, darkest nightmares, and you will never reach your precious venom roots. <laughs> Don't do it, Crane. Uh oh, Croc. Oh man. <laughs> okay then. Huh. He just took Crane with him into the water. I guess that's the end of Crane. I wonder if Croc actually ate him. Oh man. Well, there's a trophy over there. Maybe we'll go and get it. Anything over there? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. Let's check from this angle. Is there anything over there? Nope. Alright. Let's, uh... Alright. We'll go over here. And is that it? Yep. That's it. Oh boy. Look, he's hang he's hung up those giant ribs and everything here. Oh boy. What the? Ooh. Hmm. I ha I think I may have an idea on how to deal with Croc just in case. Oracle, I'm heading into Croc's lair to collect the plant spores Ivy spoke about. He's in some kind of old sewer network. Send me the schematics. It's like a maze down here. There's nothing on record. Bruce, hmm. are you sure about this? Sounds like a suicide mission. I've got no choice. I've tuned the scanner to detect the spores required to make the antivenom. It'll lead me straight to them. What about Croc? Croc's just an animal. And animals just need traps and the right bait. I'll be fine. Huh. I'll contact you when I'm done. So I'm 226 meters from one of the plants to get the cure, the anti-venom, and we have a trap set up here, whoops, wrong button, so that let's say just in case I'm running out of here and Croc is behind me, boom, we've got trap all set up. Okay. Ugh. These floating platforms will support me but will also send sound waves through the water, giving away my position to Croc. I'll need to move as slowly as possible. Or you can just crouch and walk that way. Look at this. If you walk across while crouching, it's the same as walking slowly, but you can still walk at normal speed. 
it's a cheap way of doing it rather than forcing you to have to do it like this the whole time. Because if you do it like this the whole time, it's going to take forever. So just crouch and go normal. And occasionally stand up so you can climb over those. This is like Jaws. You don't you know he's down there. You know he's deep in the water, but you don't know where. And you're like, I know you're here. Oh! Hello, Croc! Oh no. Ah okay. I learned my lesson and remembered that. I can't do the quick fire. I will enjoy feasting on your bones. And he's eating me. I thought that I knew I had to use the batarang to get his collar, but I thought I could just do the quick fire and that would automatically aim and hit his collar. Unfortunately, that did not work. I have to actually have it ready to go. So here we go. Now I have it ready to walk ready to go. Yep, yeah, that's pretty much what it takes. You just have to be aware of where he is and have it ready to go. Okay, so now comes the maze part. I'm trying to figure out where to go. Obviously, I can't go that way. There's a big wall. But you notice... I'm hungry, Batman. You see that? That's, a, that's the plant. Okay. Oh, that's right. I have to uh, knock it down. Here it is. Gather spore. It's got those test tubes. These spores don't contain enough of the antivenom mold. I'm going to need to find more. Hmm. Looks like there's more this way. Straight ahead. Usually, if it's if you see a gl if it seems to be glowing red, that may be an indication. Yeah. See. Oh. Hi, Croc. <laughs> but you can kind of tell where a spore may be if uh, you see how this area is kind of reddish. Yeah, that's kind of the uh, aura that it gives off. Let's knock it down. And then let's gather it. I think you either have to do this either four or five times. I'm not sure. I just stand there as I see as I watch him fall into the water. Looks like we go this way. I heard you the first time. Where is he coming from? Ah, over here. Huh. Okay, then. Let's see, uh, over here? Yep. Hey, thanks for opening up that wall up for me, Croc. There's no way I would have been able to get to that spore otherwise. It's like that one actually helped me out. Let's get this spore. But now you gotta wonder how much of, uh, you know, how much an uh, antidotes are you actually gonna be able to make from all this, or from these. Because there doesn't seem to be that many. Nice that Croc keeps opening up pathways for me. If I walk, look. Actually, if I just walk instead of run, then I still get around pretty fast. It doesn't make that much noise for Croc to know where I am. 
Let's see, this way? Yep. There's the spore. Looked like he dove into the water instead of actually, uh... You are my Oh, great. Now he's cutting off my pathways. Well, let's gather the spore. Okay. Alright, now, let's just do this. It's the only thing we can do. Ah, he tried to grab me. You missed. Get my batarang back ready to go. Oh, great. Now I gotta run. Oh, boy. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright. There's the spore. It's like, Croc, do you mind? I have a spore to collect. Okay, it's filling up pretty, pretty good. Is this the last one? I've got enough spores. Yep. I need to get back to the bat cave and formulate the antidote. Okay, time to oh, head back. Oh, I get back, it. You've back activated out. a sonar beacon down there. Clever. Oracle, I'm getting out of here. What about Croc? He won't be a problem. Ha. <laughs> huh. You see? Like I said, he won't be a problem. 500 meters away, so now I gotta go. Oh boy, run! Now I have to get out of here. Ah, oh, great. I'm gonna have to go around. Okay. Ah! Gotta get ready, be ready to run when I need to. there. Nope. This way. Ah. Nope. This way. simply dove to avoid it. Hmm. Uh-oh. I think we're at the home stretch here. Yep, here we go. Run! We gotta run!
Okay, we got the exit. My caves will be your tomb. Oh boy. And blow. Yeah. How do you like that, Croc? Phew. Okay. I will find you. Not today, you won't. Ooh, man, it's over. Oh, uh, return to the bat cave. Okay. So now we can use that door we found earlier to get back to the cave. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Good thing there are no collectibles in there, because now, you know, it's not like we'd I actually want to go back there, but man. Talk about a tense sequence. Critical strike combos, combo battering. Let's get the critical strike combos. There we go. All right. Let's now try and get over there. So that wasn't so bad. <laughs> oh man. We survived Killer Croc's lair. Whoo boy. Oh, now we have some guys waiting for us. Walking our way to the cave. Not down here. Joker says the bat's got a storeroom or cave or something down here. So <laughs> ah, I was trying to take I didn't need to catch. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh. The plants are acting up again. I take it you felt that. The plants are going crazy. I'm getting seismic spikes in all locations. It's not good. Oh, man. It's okay. I've got the mold samples. I'm heading to the Batcave to mix up the antidote. Good. I tell you to hurry, but I'm sure you know what you're doing. Contact me in the cave if you need anything. You got it. Meantime, let's get this trophy. Now that we have the line launcher. Killer Crocs character trophy. And we'll go back the way we came out last time. Scan and open. Okay, we're back in the cave. Time for some chemistry. How close are you to making the cure? Close. It's been more difficult than I expected. The process is slow, difficult, and doesn't produce much antidote. And hmm. the good news? The chemical will definitely stop Ivy. It may also reverse the Titan transformation. I need to run some more tests to be sure. I've set the computer to create more, but I need to get out of here and find Ivy. Huh. Thank God. Her plans have reached the Gotham River. Oh no, they've also reached the cave. Ah! Oh, the computer! Great. So I'm much fine. so much for the computer making more antidote. That's not gonna that's not gonna happen now. What's he putting together? Whoa. He just created the Ultra Bat Claw. 
an upgraded bat claw attachment. Fires up three hooks at one time. Additional leverage allows structural weaknesses to be pulled down remotely. So that's how we can pull down those structures from the walls and ceiling that we've been seeing throughout. Bruce, why didn't you have this earlier when you were at the bat cave before? Why didn't you take it with you then? Ah, uh, Bruce, 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 Bruce. Stop Ivy from destroying the island. Oh, this is how. Look at this. Three points now. And now we can pull down walls. <laughs> okay. Whee! Good thing he's got uh, yet another way to get in and out of the cave. Ah, oh, I see. We're gonna have to do some gliding and grappling to get to get back to the main area. <laughs> this should be fun. Okay. Okay. Got another oh, Riddler trophy. You definitely cheating. Really? You really think so, Enigma? Or Nashton, as you're actually known. His real name is actually Eddie Nashton. At least that's what they say in Arkham Origins. Once you actually do all the all the uh, Riddler stuff, which thanks to the to the patches that they came out with to fix all all those crazy bugs. Not all of them actually, most of them, but a lot. But yeah, most of them, but not all of them. But enough to actually make it where you could actually do that because I was not able to the last time I played that game because there were so many bugs that. Like, I, there were some Riddler stuff that would not sh even show up because of the bugs. And that, to me, is one of the biggest developer crimes for a developer when you allow so many bugs that the stuff that you can do is actually hampers the progress of that. But anyway, they've kind of fixed that, so. But enough about Origins. We are playing Asylum. Alright, so there we go. Enough uh, to get us back to this area. So now we gotta make our way back to the to the gardens. Oh, more plants. There we go. Well, destroying these things does give you experience. So Batman, only twenty-five though. I've been running a simulation still. on the damage Ivy's plants will do if they reach far enough. They won't get that far. My will stop them and Ivy. I hope you're right. I'm here if you need me. Huh. Aww. Oh, Barbara, are you still trying to win Bruce's heart? <laughs> it's always amazing that Barbara has always been one of those who's always tried to to uh, win Bruce's heart, and yet Bruce sometimes is just completely ignorant of that. Probably not even wanting to think about rom having a romance with uh, Barbara. Oracle, we've got another problem. Oh boy. What now? Two Face, Riddler, some kind of giant Joker robot? Ha! <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing that simple. That's I'm simple. at the main sewer junction, and it appears to be polluted with Titan. Why? What's he doing now? I'll look into it. Hmm. A giant Joker robot. Oh gosh. That would be quite funny. But she's like, two-faced Riddler? I'm like, um, I'm already dealing with Riddler and all of his, uh, riddle, you know, his trophies and riddles. Hmm. 
The Titan we go. water seems to be corrosive, but it shouldn't trouble the suit. What have you found out? I'm not sure you're ready for this. No, but go ahead. Joker's pumping all the waste product from the Titan process into that chamber. It acts as a kind of natural storage tank. Once it's full, it releases the water into the Gotham River. Oh, Normally, great. It's safe, but... But this time it's full of Titan. How do I stop it? I'm working on it. Okay, got that Riddler trophy. Scarecrow's character trophy. Uh, there we go. Alright. There goes that pod. Now we can go over here. Rumble in the jungle. <laughs> Looks like we're going up because there's no way we're going through that door. Shut them all down. What will happen if this Titan stuff reaches Gotham? It won't reach Gotham. Huh. He's like, I'm not even gonna entertain that uh, that notion. <laughs> what will it do? Hey, what's this stuff gonna do, huh? Yeah. It's like it's like that whole thing with Geico. Everybody knows. Watch this. They're gonna be like, a wall just disappeared. <laughs> I pulled all three of them down. That was hilarious. Look at this guy. Hey, what you do to him? I'm gonna get you. Uh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Joker. I suppose that's you in there, Bat. Who else? Well, enjoy it while you can. These caves will be your tomb. <laughs> Ooh, very cryptic. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so we've got a couple of different ways to go. we got to shut down the pump rooms here to stop them from pumping Titan into the Gotham River. So when we come back, we'll be heading to those pump rooms and trying to deal with all that stuff. Stay tuned! <laughs> 